positive in this problem, and and the second power is 51. They're clarifying that it's positive because, although you might not have thought about it, if I ask for the square root of 4, I'm asking for a number times itself, that's 4. It could be positive 2 because 2 times 2 is 4, or negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 is also 4. Usually what they're asking for is the positive root, but they could be asking for either. They're just clarifying, oh, we're asking for positive roots here. How do I know we're dealing with the roots? Well, they give us n squared, or n to the second power is 51, and they want to know, well, where is n? What is it about? What number? Well, if I know that n squared is 51, and I want to know what n is, I have to undo the square. And square roots and squares are called inverse operations. Inverse operations sort of undo each other. For example, the square root of 4 is 2, or negative 2. We'll stick with 2, the positive case. If I want to undo that, I would square 2, and I go back to 4. If I want to undo that square, I take the square root of 4, and I go back to 2. And if I want to undo that, I take 2, and I square it, and I go back to 4. And if I want to undo that, I keep going. I can take the square root of 4 to get 2, and undo that by squaring the number. It's this cycle. It's an inverse operations. Um, addition and subtraction are inverse operations, multiplication and divisions, and roots and exponents. So in this case, what's the square root of 51? Well, I think of it as, well, 7 times 7 equals 49. Well, whatever n is, it's got to be bigger than 7, because 7 times 7 gives me 49, and that's less than 51. So there's only one choice here. It has to be h, because 7 was too small, and the next number that I could use would be 8. I don't want to use a decimal. It wants to know between which two numbers does it lie. So it's got to be between 7 and 8. And think about this on a number line. If we have 7 times 7, that gives me 49. And 8 times 8, that gives me 64. Excuse me. 51 is really close to 49. So if 7 times 7 is here, and 8 times 8 is here, a decimal that's between 7 and 8 has to give me 51.